Uh, Taylor, talk about talk about your character. You play uh, Sarah Jo's sister. Yes. Yeah. My I play Trina. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah. I mean, so I'm. You know, there's three women in this house, and I'm adopted. And uh, at first, I was. I had a little bit of hesitance because I asked Lena, like, why? Kind of like, why me? You know, mm. I feel like not that it was. I just, this is, it could have existed as a white person. And we mm. tailored it for a black woman who lives in this family and she's adopted and identity and comparing herself to white standards of beauty. And we took it further where like, you know, Lena's, our generation and social media and comparison, you know, one thing that I've noticed is like the TikTok culture world, Instagram world, you know, like, like a lot of like, kind of like, we joke, but like black proverbs or like black platitudes or things that like wrote, like kind of circulate in our community have become like, just like tip TikTok language as mo most of culture does kind of like, mm. it sounds like, I don't know. So, so it's funny, my character doesn't even realize that though she's comparing herself to white standards of beauty, the TikTok influencers that she's inspired by are women who are like taking from black culture. But because of my surroundings, right. I'm comparing myself to them who are right. who are taking from them, you know. So it was this weird inception that I wanted to explore, and it's complicated, and it's there's so much dimension to it. Also, like I've gone to like I grew up going to Catholic school. I I was often like the only black girl in my ballet class, but then I would be like I went to an all like a very mostly black Catholic school. I also went to a mostly white Catholic school. So just I went to performing arts camp with these girl women gr young girls who were adopted by white families and were very loved but like didn't know how to brush their hair like didn't you know their families didn't know how to that was like i was very much around i grew up with people and i know what what how they internalize their beauty and internalize their like kind of role in the world and like denied you know in some ways wanted to assimilate and deny the, that black part of themselves or who felt they had to overcompensate. Mm. And so I think that you're meeting Trina at this time where like she feels very, like, well, all, all women, we at some point go through this thing of like needing the world to validate us from the outside in and like with men and relationships and like, so she, yeah, I mean, it's, she's, she's quite complicated. And I was really, I tried to be as specific as I could. And Lena was super collaborative and let me kind of, I was asking, I wanted to take, you know, Lena all from the beginning was like, I want you to have blonde braids. So like braids are a thing that we see on social media. Mm. You know, so, but blonde, right? So it's like, she saw some white girl with blonde braids and wanted it. Not mm. even knowing, not even aware of the fact that she got the braids from, you know, her people. <laughs> like, um, And then like nails, you know, nails, like nails are like, I don't know. It's like black culture, nails, jewels, but like she's taking it from some influencer that's like, okay, so, you know, so anyway, it's, it's just, it was- Taylor came in so specific. She made albums of what she wanted the beauty to feel like. And we had mm -hmm. um, an incredible makeup artist who is just like Donnie Davey, who's amazing. She does the makeup on Euphoria and she was so excited. She was said that she told me, she was like, I've never had someone come in with so much specificity that inspired me as Taylor. And same with the costume designer. And Taylor was just like, we both got into this hole of sending each other TikTok videos back and forth to try to understand <laughs> some of what we are like <laughs> now because we don't understand like half of what these people are doing or saying. No, we really, it was quite fascinating. It can, It gets addicting.